గుడ్ మార్నింగ్ మీ జయంతి ఐఏఎస్ మెంబర్ స్టేట్ హ్యూమన్ రైట్స్ కమిషన్ డాక్టర్ జీ కృష్ణ వైస్ చైర్మన్ అండ్ వెల్ఫేర్ బోర్డ్ ఆఫ్ ఇండియా మీరు అరుణ్ ప్రసన్న ఫౌండర్ పీపుల్ ఫర్ క్యాటల్ ఇన్ ఇండియా శ్రీ విశాల్ కృష్ణ యాక్టర్ సెల్వి వరలక్ష్మి శరత్ కుమార్ యాక్టర్ తిరు శ్రీకాంత్ జనరల్ మేనేజర్ ది వెస్టిన్ డిస్టింగ్విష్డ్ ఇన్వైటీస్ రెస్పియంట్స్ ఆఫ్ అవార్డ్స్ యానిమల్ వెల్ఫేర్ యాక్టివిటీస్ యాక్టివిస్ ఆఫీస్ బేరర్స్ అండ్ మెంబర్స్ ఆర్ పీపుల్ ఫర్ క్యాటల్ ఇన్ ఇండియా ఫ్రెండ్స్ ఫ్రమ్ మీడియా ladies and gentlemen it's a pleasure to inaugurate the animal sorry sorry it's a pleasure to inaugurate the annual meet of people for cattle in india present awards and address this distinguished gathering here this morning india is one of the largest democracies in the world which is known for its rich heritage culture and tradition it not only stands as a symbol of peace but also an embodiment of compassion and humaneness india has always been a country which has given equal importance to animals since ancient times few animals are worshiped and given a special place in the tradition and cultural practices of every indian house the animals birds and other living beings in this universe should also be treated as the children of the mother nature swami vivekananda said if there is any land on this earth that can make claim to be blessed punya bhumi to be the land to which all souls on this earth must come to account for karma the land to which every soul that is wending its way god words must come to attain its last home the land where humanity has attained its highest towards gentleness towards generosity towards full purity towards calmness above all the land of introspection and spirituality it is india such is the richness of our country we are all blessed to be born in this great nation but what is worrying is that today we see deterioration in our care love and affection towards animals only by inculcating a spirit of love among the youth we will be able to prevent cruelty to animals man and animals have always been having a very co-dependent relationship the animals are an integral part of indian society the cows goats hens and various other animals are raised as domesticated animals in rural areas some of these animals play a vital role by supporting the backbone of india indian agriculture the urban india is more inclined to the pet animals like dogs kittens etc dogs on the other hand are truly man's best friend they guard the homes and protect us from enemies such as interdependence has strengthened the bond 
between men and animals. Almost every sense bestowed upon man is equally bestowed upon animals. They see, hear, think, feel the pain and pleasure, bestow love, kindness, show passion and anger. <coughs> Some people's behavior towards animals causes great pain to the voiceless. The dedication and commitment shown by the members of the people for cattle in India, for being the voice or the voiceless, deserves a special mention. I congratulate PFCA for working closely with the Tamil Nadu Police and Animal Welfare Board of India to prevent and curb cruelties to animals in India. Its efforts to reach out to save several dogs, cats, horses, monkeys, donkeys, camels, pigs, birds, snakes from cruel treatment and abuse are laudable. People for Cattle in India has been closely working with various governments, industries, NGOs, self-help groups for the betterment of the animals in India. In its journey, spanning just four years, it has been recognized as one of the most renowned animal welfare organizations of Tamil Nadu because of its sincerity, kindness and humaneness towards giving a clarion call to prevent cruelty to animals. Preventing abuse, cruelty, and oppressive treatment of animals is the need of the hour. Oppressive treatment of animals showcases the hardened heart against the natural feelings of humanity. Our nation's culture, which has a rich tradition of love, compassion, and kindness to animals, and which worships animals should not be lost because of the inhuman act of some cruel people. I commend the initiatives taken by people for cattle in India for rescuing over 1200 cattle consisting of cows, cows, bulls and buffaloes from illegal trafficking from Tamil Nadu heading towards Kerala for illegal slaughter and for protecting the endangered birds. I congratulate the awardees for their contribution towards the spread of awareness and protection of animals and promotion of care and concern for animals. I convey my warm felicitations to Tilji Arun Prasanna, founder and members of People for Cattle in India. I conclude with the words of Mahatma Gandhiji, the father of our nation. I quote, the greatness of a nation can be judged by the way its animals are treated. End quote. Let us nurture, develop, and spread the spirit and act of kindness and care towards animals. My greetings to you all. Jai Hind.